Hello everybody. In this lesson, we are going to create sparkline charts. A sparkline chart is a small chart in a worksheet cell that provides a visual representation of data. It is used to show trends in a series of values such as seasonal increase or decrease or economic cycles or to highlight maximum and minimum value. Okay. This is the data set that we have already used for classical conditioning and color scale also we are uh, uh, seeing we have we have used this data let us create sparkline chart for this suppose we have this data these are the cities and these these are the temperature for different cities in different different months okay suppose we want to see this for anchorage what we can do we can see we can select and we can with we can use a line chart for this you can see for other city also boston we can create okay individual cities also create but for the, if we follow this method we will not be able to compare okay therefore what we need to do another way we also sometimes try we can select this data okay we can select this data and we can also use insert then start this one okay this one also we can see so this your legend you can see these are the cities here and uh, these are represented the their temperature is represented by different uh, colors okay we have a number of trend lines if we see okay but however it is looking messy therefore it is also not advisable and individual also chatting that means individual creating different different charts for individual cities also it will occupy more space if you see so therefore what we see we can create sparkline chart for this okay so what we can do here in a the difference between sparkline chart and the line chart that line chart is not confined to a individual cell okay it is appears in your worksheet okay so here what happens when we create some kind of sparkline charts it will appear in a cell okay let us create one so this is the anchorage cities you can see okay this is the data we will create so we can insert okay here we have sparkline chart there are three kinds of sparkline chart we can see there is a line chart here it will appear in the form of a line then column and win loss but all these will appear in a particular cell not combine not in it will not occupy more space okay more than one uh, cell okay so let us create a line okay when this is the data range we have selected this is the data range then we have the location we will create here okay this is the location then okay okay you see here it is we are getting this okay here this is the trend that we are getting this okay suppose we want to create for different different cities simple we can drag it like this okay you can get all these things okay so this is how we can create this so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 first 8 months if you see there is one uh, the, here it is a normal distributions okay that means if you see in the month of june july august there is increasing trend of temperature but if you see here in the last two chart okay so we are getting also there is declining means because of it may be um, due to the change of hemisphere okay let us see uh, let us create the here also we can create uh, one column charts also inside the sparkline column charts we will create let us select the data okay insert here is the sparkline column charts we have selected the range this is the range we will here we'll do 
and see. So you see here clearly it is visible. Okay. Here there is you see in the month of May, June, July, if you see there is one, there is increase in temperature, but whereas this is the just the opposite in case of Sydney and Auckland, if you see. So the temperature here falls down. Okay. This could be because of change of hemisphere or some atmospheric changes. Okay. This is happening here. Okay. We can interpret like this. Okay. So suppose we want to clear this. Okay. What we can do? We can select this. Sorry. We can select the cell that we want to clear. Okay. Then we can go to spark line here because delete option will not work here. Here we can select clear. It will be cleared. Okay. So suppose we want to clear this means delete it. We can also select this spark line and clear. It will be clear. Okay. There is there is some uh, there is another kind of chart sparkling chart you can see that is called win loss basically uh, where there is some sort of uh, profit and loss is incurring we can create this kind of chart okay you see here so this is the first month okay if you see first month second month third month four up to ten months data is there and somebody is trading in stock market and this is these are the values that he is gaining five thousand then second month he is losing two thousand then three thousand then there is a loss then profit loss kind of things so we want to that create a win loss because this kind of chart is used for this okay so let us select the data okay then insert spark line this is where we want to see this is where we want to see just a minute sorry one second we'll see so here we will create this One second will clear. Check. Okay. So this is the data that we are going to use. Then we can select this win and loss. This is the data. Then this is the range where we want to see. So you can see it has gone. So this blue column tells us these are the plus value. Plus value means that there is some sort of profit and this red color tells about these are the minus value means there is a loss here what happened there is one issue with this the issue like this this we cannot find the magnitude of profit and loss here because you see the all rectangles blue and red rectangles are of same size okay here you see second one is this is a loss 2000 whereas this is the in eighth one there is a um, loss one second so there is no significant difference between 2000 and 12000 as represented by the this uh, columns okay this is the only one issue but how however we can also use sometimes if we want you must know it okay so basically this spark line chart saves space okay or area within our that works it okay therefore we can use this okay otherwise column charts or line charts or area charts are mostly useful okay that's for the lesson see you in the next one